So the report shows that there's an unprecedented level of concern and anxiety about climate change. People are feeling it and their lives are being affected by it. So that's, that's just without question. And the report also signals that there's a need for what's being referred to as a more balanced conversation. And a more balanced conversation is actually a real conversation, right? It's really about being able to hold and acknowledge what it means to come to terms with these issues and at the same time reflecting and showing that there are people all around the world, including at the leadership level, including at the energy company level, who are taking this seriously and trying to figure out ways of doing things differently. And there's no question that we need that. We need that in spades. People need to see evidence that there is action happening on climate change. And that in itself helps us manage the anxiety and the fear and the overwhelm and all of those very normal and natural feelings that come up for us as we learn about the issues. So a balanced conversation is really a both and conversation. We're not pushing away the feelings and the responses and we're also having room to acknowledge and celebrate the leadership and the action, the imagination, the courage, the innovation that is actually happening right now in our world. So the impact that climate awareness is having on many people right now is in addition to wrestling with anxiety and feeling overwhelmed, we're also seeing that people are becoming more reflective and thoughtful and intentional about the decisions we make in our lives, whether it's how we consume energy, whether it's how we travel, choices about having families, um, how we raise our families, what is the good life? You know, this is what the climate crisis is actually bringing up for people, and it's becoming a more and more prevalent conversation. When it comes to climate change, it's actually really easy to fall into a binary way of talking about it and thinking about it. That's either focusing almost entirely on how scary, apocalyptic, um, horrifying the threats are, or we go on the other side and focus on the, the cheerleading and the solutions and pure aspiration and we can do this. A balanced conversation that I'd love to see is a both and. It's saying, here's where we are. This is scary. This is kind of dark. And here we are. And we have this incredible opportunity right now to turn things around. So a balanced conversation is one that actually creates the conditions for each one of us to feel that we have the ability to face what's real to face what's happening and then figure out what are we gonna do about it. There's just some incredible research out about how we, we like cognitively map on to how leaders in our world are showing up and I, I just think that's really powerful, you know? Because what it means is when leaders aren't showing up in a particular way, the impact that has is, is incredibly detrimental. We as humans, we cognitively pattern ourselves on the leaders in our world. So if a leader, let's say whoever that might be who we deem as a leader, so it could be at the government level, at the community level, in your religious community, in your workplace, how leaders are showing up around climate is a template for us. And so what happens is that we unconsciously, we are, we're patterning how leaders in our world are actually showing up and responding to the issue. So it's actually vitally important how leaders are, are showing up, how leaders are demonstrating um, a new way of relating to the issue that isn't pure uh, fear and scaring tactics and um, alarmism and isn't purely kind of a 
out of touch, rah rah cheerleading take on it, but is actually what psychologically we would call regulated. Right now, companies, including energy companies, have an incredible opportunity ahead of them, which is to see themselves ideally as conveners of conversation. And what I mean by that is the ability to openly acknowledge, if possible, that these are challenges and that it's not easy and that we may not have all the answers right now, but that we're willing to go out of our comfort zone and really uh, you know, experiment and see what we can do. So for me, companies really have an unprecedented responsibility right now.